Welcome to Mystery Tech, the show where I am Box of White. What are you doing? Oh. That's my phone. Is that an iPhone SE? You almost got me with that one. You almost knocked me out. Why do I have a Rhino Shield solid suit case and screen protector and iPhone SE? Is Mystery Tech today just me abusing an iPhone SE? Yes, but also, we're three for three sponsors on Mystery Tech. Thank you very much to Rhino Shield for sponsoring this episode of Mystery Tech and allowing us to continue our ridiculousness. So I know that with a standard glass screen protector, it's usually the way to go, right? Because you do get that sort of very smooth glass feel. But the downside is, if you've ever used one of these, you've probably cracked it, chipped it, whatever the case is, and as soon as you do that, it's sharp, you just gotta get rid of the whole thing. So this is what it's like if you have a standard glass screen protector. So they go to break it. No, 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 wait, 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 no, no, that's not what I got, that's not what I got the, what do you want me to do? Dude, 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 you protect your hands, protect your hands. Oh, oh. Dude, dude, that, that's, oh my god. Right, okay, okay. Is everyone okay? I definitely saw glass fly all over the room. My leg. So this is our Rhino Shield 3D impact screen protector, which I can already tell is not anywhere near as bad because it's super flexible. This is made of some kind of polymeric material, which means that it sort of feels like glass, but I can bend that. That's not breaking. No, no, no. Here's the difference. So, why don't we actually see how well this works in the real world? And by the real world, I mean an incredibly contrived drop test to see if I can Break it. It's pretty good. So to really put your Rhino Shield to the test, on top of the screen protector, you should also take advantage of one of their fine cases or bumpers. In this case, I have the solid suit with my name on it. Now this is good for up to 11 feet of droppage. That's um, more than 11 feet, but uh, why don't we give it a try? See if it actually survives. You ready? Three. Two, one. Woo! That was a good bounce. Wait, let's go down. Let's go see it. How's it look, Matt? Don't touch it. I mean, I'm not even really stressed. I'm sure it's fine, right? I mean, it's a little dirty, but it's totally fine. Look at that. I mean, the case is definitely um, eating up the abuse. But I mean, that's that's a pretty decent drop. Oh, look at that. Just Perfect. as new. Look at that. No problems whatsoever. It's a little dirty, but. That's fine. So if you would like to check out Rhino Shield, I have a link in the description where you can pick up not only one of their excellent screen protectors, but also one of their wonderful cases or bumpers. Stop, stop. Just, okay, we get it, it works. Okay, um, can I ask why there's a monitor and a Thunderbolt GPU on my desk? Sure can. The MagSafe Type-C adapter. So if you're familiar with Apple's wonderful MagSafe, this was a magnetic charging cable for MacBooks that was unceremoniously tossed aside in favor of USB Type-C, which has many advantages, but one of the advantages it does not have is the fact that it will not actually disconnect when you trip over it. I mean, it looks like it's machined well by Upumli. Oh wow, that's a lot of pens. So basically they have to be really on point with their signal in here. So let's try the most simple version of this, charging a phone. So if we plug it in right now. Hey, okay. So at the very least, it will charge a device. And then if I pull it out, boom, stops charging, plugs in, charges. Okay, so let me get my MacBook and actually see if this thing works via Thunderbolt. So if I attach this to the MacBook, theoretically everything will light up. You ready? Oh, it's getting some power. Is my GPU on? No, my GPU is not doing anything though. Oh, dude, the cable's too thick. Hold on, I need to actually put it here. The cable's so thick that it's thicker than the MacBook, so when I set the MacBook down, it trips out. So it is for, oh, oh, it's, oh! Oh, whoa! It works! Oh, that's cool. 
So the cable is pretty thick. So if you're using it with most laptops, you have to be pretty careful because while the magnets are strong, it's a little bit of a tight fit. So I don't know how much I can speak to the longevity of something like this. And realistically, you're probably not gonna be using it for Thunderbolt all the time. You probably wanna use it more for like charging and stuff. But at the very least, it actually is unbelievably a real fully magnetic Thunderbolt 3 connector. <laughs> a mini electromagnetic rail gun. What is this? That's a USB-A toy that you can use in the office if you want. What does it shoot? It's a rail, rail gun. gun. It shoots whatever the hell you want. <laughs> it shoots rails. Excellent. Okay, so um, I got some, some flags. Are they implying that you use a rail gun against nations? Oh! With China, India, and Spain, let's see how this works. I actually, I've gotten really excited about all this. You I haven't. Not do India. What's wrong with India? India is a wonderful country, Matt. How dare you try to talk shit about you India? Want to piss off like half our audience? No, I'm giving shout outs to countries. Shout out to India, yo. Shout out to El Spain. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like, like. Not Spain? <laughs> yeah. What? Not suitable for children under eight years old. Shouldn't have given me this one. So I think I just pressed the button and it works. Do you think it will work if I press the button right now? I, I guess. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, wow. Oh, that was cool. That was actually kind of impressive. That was really fast. I wasn't expecting That was the rubber one. It's very dangerous, actually. <laughs> All right. Let's try one more time, shall we? I'm gonna see how many, okay, okay, I see you, I see you. Save, save Japan while you can. Oh, that was a little bit more power, Matt. So, look, this is a fun little toy. It is not as dangerous as it seems. It seems quite dangerous, and if I had a more powerful power supply, I'd be able to turn it up a lot more. But, as far as your electromagnetic railgun needs, it's hard to argue that the Taolai Mini Electromagnetic Railgun Shooting Toy is not exactly what it says on the box. Most importantly, Switzerland survived. They always do. Okay, a generic brown box. How exciting is this? Happy Hacking Keyboard. How much did you pay for the Happy Hacking Keyboard Professional Hybrid? $300. Hmm, that is, as the kids say, a lot of fing money, Ken. <laughs> Yeah, man, I, th th that was the first thing I said when I was a kid. I don't know about you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let me actually try this one. So that is an interesting stand. So we've got feet for it. What is this? Is this oh, this is where the batteries go? So, yeah. $300 and you need AA batteries, Ken? Yeah, buddy. What? What is this layout? Wait, so this is a Mac layout? Yes. So it's, wait, shift, wait. alt. Well, why, why, where's my arrow keys? I just have blank spaces. That is that, that's, that's more of a personal. So, let's see how my happy hacking keyboard works. This is a little bit of a weird layout, so I don't think I'm gonna be super fast. Ready? Yes. Oh god, oh god, oh, oh, that's bad. Already? Ah! Oh. oh god. It's so weird. Oh, Jesus. 69 words per minute, nice. And 87% accuracy. So the keyboard actually feels really nice. The layout, though, is maddening. My delete key is right above my return key, whereas on a normal keyboard, it is two keys up. I know it's legendary, I know a lot of people like it. This, to me, is a little bit hard to swallow, as is $300, so, you know. I'm not gonna swallow money. Don't even think about it. Is this? Did you get a bunch of Beyblade stuff? I did. This was actually recommended by our viewers. I've never felt older in my life. Three, two, two one. one. Let it rip! Oh god, mine went off the, okay. Austin wins! I think I won. That's a point for Austin. All right. I almost destroyed his MacBook. Don't do that. All right, ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one. Let, Let it rip! Oh, I, I killed myself. Am I two and no right now? I killed myself on that one. You know what? I need to be on the other side of this. Three, Three two, two, one. Let it rip. Oh, oh, go, oh. go, 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 go. Oh. Oh, no, you don't. Attack. No, you don't. All right, I won. Yay. 
Attack! Keep going. Yeah. Bam. Okay, I get it. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. Yeah. 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 Three, two, one. Let it rip! Excellent. Thank you very much. So you don't seem exactly thrilled by Beyblades. Uh, Beyblades? Uh, no, I'm old. And All right, I got, I, got, I got something else. I got something else. Okay. The Koss Pro 4AA headphones. So why, my dear friend, do I have a pair of Koss headphones on the table? Because these look kind of retro. Okay. I thought they might sound okay. You want them, don't you? Yes. Oh, those are very nice looking. Wow, those are, those are pretty cool. So, so you're gonna take these home, right? No, so these look like exactly what I thought. Yep. I have something for you as well. <laughs> These do look like pilot headphones. You're totally right. I'm gonna be a pilot today. Oh wow, those are, oh, these are so heavy. Ah, is there no adjustment? There's no adjustment, is there? Is that a suitcase? Why did you just bring a suitcase over? That's, that's a box, dude. Yeah, it looks, it's got all the, look. It's got like Paris on it, explore the world, Tokyo. So I have not looked in this box personally, but this, is from our friends over at Microsoft, ahead of Flight Simulator 2020. Oh wow, yeah, that's, uh, that's Flight Simulator, right? So a professional axis lever simulation controller. This is a whole flight simulator setup. Oh, hold on a minute. Can you see this? Whoa, Holy, Thrustmaster, the, Palinear Pendula, okay, I can't read. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you very much for flying Air Austin today. We hope that you're having a pleasant journey and we hope that you're not particularly seasick because we're about to get a little crazy on this one. Your screens are not on. How do you know how fast and where you're going? I'm a true pilot. I fly on instinct. There we go, okay, here we go. We're gonna bank a little hard on this turn. I'm sure it'll be fine. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo! All right, all right, all right. We're 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 killing our en engines. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we're coming. In. We're coming. We're coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm about to do a barrel roll. Okay, it's fine. You literally cut your engine mid flight. It's fine. We're going down. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know how to stop the plane. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. We're going I think, down. I think we're, I think we're just dead now. No. Yeah, I think we're just dead no. now. No. No. Oh god. I got it, I got it, I got it. We're good, we're good, we're good. No, you're not stopped yet. It's okay, we're there, we're there. We did it. Thank you very much for flying here, Austin. Uh, please give us a five-star review. And until next time, thanks for flying the friendly skies.